The holiday season is here and I think it's the perfect time to declutter. Most of us have an abundance somehow that we can share with others. And right now, so many local schools and businesses are holding food and clothing drives. They help to bring items directly to those who need it. The bonus is that we don't have to go far to donate them. If you're new to the idea of minimalism and decluttering, it just so happens that the easiest items to declutter are the necessity items that people in hard times desperately need. Things like food, clothes, linens, towels, toys, personal items, these are basic necessities and niceties that some people just cannot afford to buy. We don't need any special skills or tools. We just need an open container, like a bag or a box, and a very open, giving heart. I like to start off by setting a calm, positive mood. For me, that's lighting a candle and playing some nice music or chatting with my son who is working with me in the kitchen. Whatever gets you in a nice, calm mood. Next, I set a boundary. I'm a fan of Marie Kondo, but her method to take all items of one category out just takes too much time and dedication for me. Instead, I recommend that we pick one very small, confined area to work in. One cabinet filled with food, even if it's just a shelf of that cabinet. One bathroom drawer, one dresser drawer, a small section of your closet. Start very, very small and work until completion. The idea is to examine each item in that space with the goal in mind that we're giving to those in need. I'll walk you through five areas of my house so you can see what that looks like. So come along and declutter with me. I like starting in the kitchen because food is the most easily replaceable. I can look through our canned goods cabinet and find extra foods that don't fit our eating habits for whatever reason or that we can replace very easily. Since the cabinet is so deep, I'm going to empty it out first. Then I'll examine each item to make sure that they're within date and can be used by those who need it. And funny thing, if it's expired or close to expiration, then I'll keep it and use it for us. Some donation centers are very picky about dates and I'd hate for the food to go to waste. Most manufacturers even say that the food is fine beyond the often arbitrary dates. They also do not like goods in glass jars, so I avoid donating those. All these canned items are well within date and can definitely be used by those who need them. I also use this opportunity to do a quick wipe down of the cabinet and a quick inspection. If I didn't clean out this cabinet, I wouldn't have found this little scout ant. He's a sign to me that we need to be extra diligent about our vacuuming and keeping surfaces free of food and water. You see, it's winds all around on so many levels. Helping others? Check. Cleaner and less cluttered cabinets? Check. I'm really ready to keep going with all these wins under my belt. These pastas I actually just bought because they were on sale, but I can go back and go get more easily because the sale is still going. Even if not though, as someone who often shops sales, I can tell you that there's almost always a sale. I can find boxes of pasta for 50 cents or less at least a few times a year and can stock up again during those times. Next, I'm going to invade my son's bathroom. He has a drawer here with toothbrushes that I know realistically he won't ever use again. Unused, unopened items like these are perfect for women's and homeless shelters. These small goodie bags from dentists we have too much of because they give each of us one twice a year. Yes, they are excellent, but realistically, we only really need a couple. Hotel toiletries are another good donatable item. We have way more than we need. Next, I'm going to tackle my clothing. Clothes that may not fit in the right way or are just still good, but we just don't like the style of. These clothes can end up being somebody else's most favorite pieces. I know that I've gone to thrift stores and I've been very blessed to find new or very close to new clothes that are now my favorite. And I got them for pennies on the dollar. Those dollars that I did spend for those clothes end up going to the charity that hosts the shop and that money is used toward their cause. This drawer holds my athletic and sleepwear. I'm going to empty it out and examine each item. These capris I bought last summer from a thrift store but I didn't end up liking them. They didn't flatter my Asian calves so I'll let these go. 
I do try hard to be mindful of all my purchases. Since most of my clothes are purchased secondhand from thrift stores, it makes it a lot easier for me to admit my mistakes and let go of them because I feel there's less waste in general. I didn't pay much for any of these items. My dollars help their cause and I'm not directly contributing to the consumption of new clothes. And since this didn't take me a very long time, I'm also going to focus on my jeans because I don't wear jeans much anymore. I haven't worn these in months, so I'm going to let these go. While going through all my pants here, I didn't take out everything because there were so few. But I did keep an eye out for duplicates that were hard for me to let go the last time I tried to declutter my clothing. Knowing that these items can go toward helping someone in some way gave me the perspective that I needed to let go of those duplicates. I feel like I'm on a roll here, so I'm going to head over to the linen closet and take a look at the extra blankets and towels. We have some extras that crept their way in from well-meaning family, and these can definitely be used. One thing I really struggle with in decluttering is when items are new or still good and usable. I have a really hard time letting go of those items. Realistically though, we're not going to use these and they're not doing anybody any good staying in this cabinet even if they're there might be room to store them. They are still good, and that's the point. Right now, there are awesome folks out there blessing others by volunteering time to get items to those who need it. When I know an item is going to be used by someone, it really encourages me to let go of them. Kids grow up so fast. My son is almost as tall as me, and he sounds like a little man. His interests are always changing. Toys that he loved in the past are just in storage. He even mused the other night at dinner that the underside of his bed is full of toys, but he never uses them because he doesn't see them. In fact, he doesn't even remember what is there. So he started going through them and came up with these items to bless others. Most of his toys are purchased secondhand from private sellers or thrift stores, so he knows firsthand how these pre-loved toys can give him so much joy, so he gives back generously. He's also growing like a weed and grows out of clothes before he can even wear them out, so these are great candidates as well. And lastly, I'm going to tackle the holiday decor. This is the perfect time to have them exit our homes. They can hit the thrift store floors pretty immediately, and people are very likely to buy them. We'll also have less to put out, dust, and pack away, and they'll very likely make their way into someone else's home, all while bringing money to help a cause. I think it's wins all around. So this is our box of Christmas decor. We have a small artificial tree, which I lovingly call our Charlie Brown tree, and a couple of other items that we store outside of this box, but really this is the majority of our Christmas items. Going through this though, I found some Christmas cards and bags that we have had for years and I know for a fact we won't use them. These can definitely be sold by a thrift store very easily. If you're blessed enough, give with your wallets as well to establishments of your choice. Dollars are small but mighty, and even the smallest amounts can definitely add up. I'm a fan also of double and triple dipping on deals. Gift cards are donatable and their full dollar amount can be written off. We can bless others, get a little discount off, gain credit card points, and maybe even get a little something nice for ourselves all in one go. You know, being on the receiving end of some of these donated items, I can tell you that it really does bring a huge impact to mental well-being. It feels like someone cares. To have clothes and shoes that fit properly is a huge boost to quality of life. Someone donated locally, and that made a huge difference to me as a child. I couldn't imagine being on the other end of those boxes and trash bags that we got. But here I am today, and I'm very grateful. As we go forth into this holiday season, I find that instead of focusing on consuming more items for myself and for my family, that we do have plenty. We're very blessed, and we can use these existing items that we do have to bless others and to simplify and minimize our home one space at a time. Thanks for watching, and I wish you Happy decluttering and donating. <laughs>